Hey, let's learn a little secret about your DSLR. How does the uh, autofocus mech actually work? Well, you know that the information is sent to the main board, which then tells the lens where to focus, but how does that work? Here we actually have the center section of a Nikon D500, similar to most Canon and Nikon DSLRs, almost nearly identical, except for improvements in technology. We actually have a main mirror, which obviously, as you know, sends light up to the pentaprism and then to your eye. But this is a semi-transparent tra semi mirror. Directly behind that mirror is a sub-mirror, and this reflects light down to a assembly right under here, which is the autofocus sensor bay, and the assembly that sits underneath here, which I'll show you in a second, which is right over here. So it actually sends part of the light down here, and if I actually lift up the main mirror, you can actually see as it flips up, the sub-mirror actually also flips up, so the light can actually hit the sensor to take the image. So main mirror and little sub-mirror which sends light down to the autofocus sensor bay right down here, which sits directly in front of your sensor. And here is that assembly. The light actually hits this five sectioned. This is, of course, the latest and greatest technology from Nikon. This is also the same autofocus uh, assembly in the uh, Nikon D5. The light passes down here, it's subdivided into five sections for the zones on the sensor for autofocusing. It actually hits a mirror here, then it actually passes through a specially coated mirror right here, which actually sits in this bay, and then directly behind that is this neat little assembly and the light passes through these little pinholes, these little keyholes. You see here, one, two, three, four, five. If you actually look from top to bottom, you'll see a four section, a two section, a four section, a two section, and a four section. And that gets magnified on the lenses on the other side, as you can see here. See these little bubble lenses? Four, two, four, two, four. Those are the zones that correspond to the sections of the autofocus point that you select in your frame. And that passes to, let me grab it here, this sensor. Here you can actually see it, four, two, four, two, four. This information it's transferred into digital data, which drops, it's connected to this board, which I removed, right here, it's set on the back of that. And then there's a 16-pin uh, cable that goes from here to the motherboard, the main board, on uh, the Nikon D500 or any other conventional modern digital DSLR, and that information is processed as fast as possible, and then the corresponding correction information is sent to the lens or the uh, AFD screwdriver motor to focus the lens. So, right underneath here, in this little empty bay, the light passes through here, hits a 90 degree, well actually a 45 degree, excuse me, <laughs> hits a 45 degree mirror. Okay, notice the five sections. Here, 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 and here. And then it passes through, if I lost it, this assembly, not assembly first, we're talking about the specially coated mirror. Then it passes through keyholes. This is nothing other than like a little piece of uh, plastic with holes in it. And then magnified through these bubble prisms. This is a piece of plastic, of course. Magnified through these bubble prisms. And then it actually hits these. And if you look really closely, Hopefully I can zoom in that you can see it. I know no one has ever done a YouTube video on this before. Take a look here. Do you see how each one of these sections is cordoned off into layers? Do you see that? I know you can see it because I can see it on my phone here. That is telling where it needs to be focused 
four, two, four, two, four. Each one of those subsections has intensity points to determine autofocus information as processed on the main board. All of that here, through the mirror, through the pinholes, then through the bubble lenses, and then on the detector, and from the detector to the autofocus assembly board, and from the board through the cable to the main board, which is right here, and that actually connects right down here, and then it's processed by the Toshiba processor, and then the information for correction for autofocus is sent to the lens. There you go. Here's how autofocus works on a super modern DSLR. And it's almost identical on a Canon, and this is identical basically rather than like on DSLR. There you go. First video made of that. I know there's no other video made about this topic anywhere on the internet. But you can actually see right there. Fascinating. I love the AR coding on this. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.